In this video, I'm going to put a CIS onto an Epson RX560. If you see there, look, the RX560. The reason I'm doing this video is because I've sold a few uh, CIS kits for uh, 560, the uh, 585, and the 685. And at least 50% of the people were sending them back saying they don't work. And when I get them, I test them and they're working fine. So somebody is obviously doing something wrong somewhere. Half of them are getting it right, some of them aren't. And I think it's a piping. So this uh, video is going to show you how to put the CIS onto this RX560. And it's the same procedure for the for RX585 and the RX685. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get this lid off of here so that the cartridges all fit in. So what I'm going to do is switch the printer on, which is doing now. When that moves to the left, I'm going to pull the power lead. There, I pulled the power lead out so that that moves freely by hand. And what I've got to do then is take the lid off. Now I can't get the uh, lid removal part in the video, so I've just been doing it and my hands cover it like this. You can't see a thing. Waste of time. So what we do, if anybody gets the kit, they'll have the lid removal sent on their picture instructions. Where I can just do a little bit at a time and show you how to do it. But on video, that's what it looks like. You can't see a thing anyway. So should you buy the kit for this, the CIS, I will include the picture instructions there. But we've got the um, lid off. Now we've got to get the clips into place, ready for this. Right, I stopped the video there, just to save a bit of time, else it'll go on forever. What we've done here is we put this clip on here. If you look, how far from this left is it? Oh, one two inches to that left approximately and if you see here this has got a groove this there's a groove just there and I've put that up against here so that's just sticking over so two inches there and with the groove there then you stick this over it to hold it down and that's sticking down this way so we've got that um, in place and also on this side I put this one here by the way that is in line with that straight across that's to hold the piping and what we're going to do we're going to put, we're going to put in a CIS that somebody sent me back from a 685 an RX 685 they say it's faulty I know it's not faulty but I'm going to put that in here just to show that they do work it's just the piping that people are getting wrong right I've got the power lead in the back so it's all ready now I've got the CIS here there's the CIS there's the cartridges and if you look here all the bungs have been pierced it's where somebody's put it in and said that it doesn't work. There's air all in the pipes where they sent it back. I know full well that this is going to work. So what we've got to do is we've got to put the CIS into place. That's anywhere on this left here. These little bungs come out. And they didn't they didn't even send the uh, air spacers back. So I'll nick one off this one back here and I'll show you your air spacers have got to go in place of where the bungs were if you look there. You take the small bung out and put your air spacers in. Do that all the way along. I just nick that one out of a CIS at the back because they haven't sent the spacers back. But you'll get the drift all the way along. That's to let air in but not let ink out if you accidentally knock it. So you've got anywhere there on that left hand side to start with. And then we've got those cartridges there. And what we're going to do with the block of cartridges is just put them in. Put them into there. And press them down. Right, sometimes they'll click. These haven't clicked very loud, but to make sure they're in, I get my thumb at this end, my finger at that end, and I push down individually on each one pretty stiffly to make sure they are all the way down. That is another common error. So they're all in there. Now what I'm going to do with that with my right hand is push it right across to the right hand side. Now this is the important bit where people are getting wrong. They're getting the piping wrong. What you need to do is come across and go into this clip. Like that. Let me go up. So it's going straight out and across. Now people are setting up like this, starting the printer, and it will fail them cartridges every time because it's not in a give here. There's no give at all. And people are swearing blind they've got it exactly as I tell them, but they can't have because this, as I say, is a faulty one. Well, what somebody said was faulty, 
what you do, you don't have it like that. You pull it to the right. Make sure there is some give there, so that that is dipping down. Look, it's dipping down. Once it's dipping down, it allows this to go up there. It's very, very simple. But if you don't get the dip, it won't work. I have, in fact, got a little bit too much dip there showing you how to do it. But it's dipping down. It's got to dip down. If it comes straight across, it's going to fail every time. Then come across to the left here, down here, and clip into there. That's clipped in. I moved that when I was doing that. So we've got that down there. Let's see if it works. I'm going to switch the printer on. Now you can see the whole operation now. Whether you're putting cartridges in or CIS, it will always go through this procedure. It will always take this long. Let's see if this CIS fails in this printer. It takes a bit to set up. There's nothing I can do about that. Let it go to the left. It's going left and right. This is what it normally does. Look at that. It's recognised them straight away. There you go, the screen chains and everything. Those cartridges are fine, yet they've been sent back as faulty. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get another one of those uh, little square clips and I'm going to put it on here to protect the lid, because the lid's got to come down, but it won't go all the way down. And that is another thing that people are saying. My lid won't go right down, it stays open to a 3 mil. It's got to, or else this piping is going to crush. Right. So that's coming down there, so down here on the right hand side, I'm just going to put that there and clip it over. That lets this come down, but it won't crush the piping over there. So bring the lid down, there. Let's see if it works. We'll get anything to scan. I must have something to scan. There we go, we'll just chuck that under there. And then we need to get some uh, paper. Where's the paper gone? There it is. Put the paper in the back. I'm deliberately not stopping the video on this one so you can see everything that is actually working. And we'll go to um, a black and white and we'll copy it. So we'll press the start. As you can see there, black and white copying one of one. And there you go. Pulling the paper through. Oh, I ain't pulled that down, look. And there is the print. I just chucked any document under there. There's the print. That shows you that that does work. That CIS has come back as faulty from an RX 685 they're saying it is faulty, it will not work, no matter how much I help them. And it's all because they won't put this dip in the piping. That's all it is. But there you go. That's how to put a uh, CIS onto an Epson RX560, RX585, RX685. Thanks for watching.